conversation before we made ours, because he's our mentor that would have been nice to do. Uh, basically, Mark uh, opened the show today talking about engaging use of technology. There is nothing more engaging than the connect device that involves you and you alone and your body as the controller. So we, um, when I first found out, or when we first found out it could be programmed and used with the computer, we had to get on it. Okay, so that was last November, and since then we've used some of um, some cool little software that's been made online. Uh, we're just going to show up to you now. Right, so uh, looking up here, we've got the very common Scratch program uh, used in a lot of schools. Um, and this is how Connect uh, sees the body and sees you moving around um, and can visualize you in front of uh, your class or um, giving a demonstration of how computing can be connected um, and interactively used in your lessons. We'll let John finish off his nice dance. Cool, so just as everyone else, as all, as all the kids will here know, and the IT teachers and some others as well, Scratch is very, very simple software that you can use to make really simple games, and the Kinect is no different. You, all these little red nodes are used to control your hand or your hip or your leg. We'll show you how you can do that in a minute. This is just one game that um, I found online that you can just go around, find the pictures, and it's all on your hands. So it's all simple. Kids can do this. Kids can program for the Kinect straight away. And we'll move on to show you how we can do that. There's one more game to play, there I'll talk about this game. This game, if you want to play around it, you can do it for me. Uh, this game, you don't need to use your hands. You can also use, also use your whole body. So here you can see I'm using that whole body to move that slide down the bottom, so I'm moving along, and it's a really quite interactive game that the kids can make for the Kinect straight away. These guys can do it. They are simple at it, okay? I felt incredibly amazing when I got put that together. I stole it by the way, reprogrammed it a little bit, and you feel pretty good to program straight for the Kinect, okay? So that's, I want to show you how simple that can actually be to do. I think when you say stole, you creatively plagiarised to that jump. So, yeah. so now, um, this is the standard Scratch environment that uh, students learn to program in, um, in ICT lessons. Um, and then when you connect the Connect Center, you get a whole load of extra um, sense points that the bar picks up. So it picks up uh, hips, uh, knees, ankles, uh, wrists, uh, elbows, and so on. And these are um, quite easily integrated by students uh, without much programming experience um, into the sense and control bars, um, and then enables them to create these interactive games within a few minutes of actually loading up Scratch. Okay. So that's Scratch done, okay? But there's some very, very, very clever people out there, and they can actually program with the Connect. So they set that up, they also set this up. This is a quiz that you can get, and you can just put in a normal text file, and, and you can put in the questions and the answers, okay? So here we've made a quick little quiz. Ever so, once you've got it set up, it's ever so simple. You, you save that text file, you put in your questions and answers, and there you go. So what uses 140 characters? You all should know this in here. And I hover my hand over, and it can be the connect, okay? So that's just one thing that, if you're not a programmer, if you're not good with this stuff, you can just download it, plug in your connect, and you can just have an interactive quiz there. You know? You're not going to use it every single day, but it's something that is different, something that's engaging, and it might get them to answer a few boring questions. Right, so um, this is a Connect emulator, which has been developed by Ray Chambers. Um, now this allows you to control your PC uh, using the Connect sensor. So uh, waving your hands around controls the mouse, and you can click, and it because it detects depth as well as movement. So you can click by pushing your hand forward um, and things like that. Um, also in PowerPoint, you can stand in front of your class and you can do that to move your PowerPoint forward and that to move your PowerPoint back a slide. Um, has its slight technical issues at the moment, we will admit that. It does jump a little bit. Um, and also something called Worldwide Telescope. Now Worldwide Telescope is developed by Microsoft to go along with the Kinect and it allows you to explore the planets and the solar system using your hands. So uh, you can also use voice control as well. So zoom in, zoom out as a voice command works with the Connect. But also panning across uh, the solar system, looking at stars, you can pull the planets in and out using your hands uh, as the, the mouse and actuator for that. We were going to do a live demonstration, but that would just go terribly wrong. So you can see all these videos somewhere else. Um, I will show you where to get them. But here's a trio of applications that have been made for again by a very, very, very clever man, Ray Chambers, if anyone's ever heard of him. Uh, basically, the first one is orchestra, uh, is orchestra, so you use your hands and you'll select a piece of instrument and you'll put it wherever it is. I'm not very good at music. 
don't really get it. Uh, the spelling test, I can do that. So you basically press whichever one, whichever letter you're trying to spell the word of. And I quite like the digestive one. You pick up the uh, name of the organ and you simply drag it into place. So these are already made applications that are there for you to use if you want to set it up and if you can do that, okay? Uh, we'll start flying through this bit because we've uh, reached zero on the time. So um, if you want to code with Connect, there is a variety of tutorials out there that take you right from the beginning, from plugging it into your PC, right up to programming your own gestures. Um, and if you want to get started, there are simple downloads from Windows, um, or from Microsoft, sorry, that um, allow you to get an access to that. And other requirements, you will need um, an SDK for Connect, available again from Microsoft, and a few extra programs that we've shown from Ray Chambers. Uh, and we would just like to thank Ray Chambers and Stephen Howell for their work on the Connect and making some of these products um, or programs available for people like us to use in the classroom.